We all know that exercise is good for our bodies, but scientists are finding out more and more about just how good it is for our brains too. So I'm doing some aerobic exercise, and that's any kind of exercise that gets you out of breath and your heart pumping. Now, lots of you may do this to lose weight, but I've got some great news for you. As well as burning calories, aerobic exercise may also suppress hunger. A small study has found that after aerobic exercise, ghrelin levels drop, which indicates we're feeling less hungry. And peptide YY levels increase, which indicate we're feeling more full. The volunteers in this study said that after aerobic exercise, they actually felt less hungry. So let's get going. But it isn't just about aerobic exercise. Resistance training also has benefits. Resistance training isn't just doing weights. It can be any exercise which aims to make you and your muscles stronger. Like this. Or like this. A great benefit of resistance training for our minds is that it improves our episodic memory. This is a part of the memory that deals with specific details about events. It allows us to mentally relive past experiences. Even a single session of resistance exercise during the memory consolidation process has been shown to help in young adults. They did better in recall tests and matching faces to names. And great news, aerobic exercise has the same effect on our memory too. And aerobic exercise can do even more. On average, one in five people in the UK suffer from depression at some point in their lives. Aerobic exercise has been shown to alleviate the symptoms of depression. It is associated with the creation of a positive mood. Some of the reasons this might be the case are that exercise increases our core temperature, specifically in parts of the brainstem, which can lead to feelings of relaxation. It also leads to the release of more brain neurotransmitters, like endorphin, serotonin and dopamine, which makes us feel good. So get moving. Do you feel like your creative juices are running low? Well, scientists have found that walking at a leisurely pace improves creativity. When tested, volunteers came up with more unique uses for everyday items when they were walking at a leisurely pace on a treadmill, compared to when they were sitting down. And for a short time after, carried on being more creative. So if you feel like your creative juices are running low, a walk might be a good idea. When the volunteers are outdoors, they produce the best and most high quality ideas. So if you really want to get creative, get your walking shoes on and embrace the outdoors. <laughs>